welcome back to another episode of project tabar now i know we haven't taken out an episode for a long time that's because the intercooler that we were supposed to get took longer than expected and after that we were a bit busy and other stuff but the intercooler is finally here it's a garrett intercooler and today we're going to be installing it on the punto abarth so basically what we're going to have to do is remove the whole front bumper and remove the older one and then fit the newer intercooler from garrett so what an intercooler does basically in layman's terms is it'll keep the engine cool and do a lot of heat management and the stock intercooler on the abarth punto is really not that big and the car suffers a lot of heat soak and a lot of other problems because of it so you're not making a lot of power a lot of the time so the new intercooler is basically going to manage the heat management and all of that stuff and make sure that we get loads of power whenever we want it So this is the old intercooler and it is absolutely tiny. I mean I don't know how Fiat or Abarth or whoever designed this thing thought that this was acceptable. I mean no wonder this car heats up so quickly. It's as big as probably a cricket bat. I mean it's good to play cricket with. And compare that to this. This thing is literally double the size of this OEM intercooler and this is a big must because as you can see i don't think this is going to be doing a lot of cooling whereas this will actually modulate the heat try to keep it cool and give the car the performance it needs so we've ran into a little bit of an issue so this bigger intercooler uh it's not really a plug and play i mean it is kind of a plug and play but this was the best option we had so if we're putting it over here where the oem was it's basically not fitting because the subframe is kind of coming in the way so they've given these brackets and everything because they know it's not going to fit so we basically have to drill two little holes for the brackets over here so that the intercooler can you know properly get fitted and doesn't move around when we're fitting it the pipes are long enough so you know we can this is not an issue the pipes will extend and come all the way over here to connect to the intercooler so yeah now they're going to be drilling two small little holes for the nuts and bolts and we should be good to go unfortunately we were unable to film the process of the installation of the intercooler because me and tanay had actually gone to eat some vada pav but yeah finally the intercooler had been fit to the abarth punto and we took it out for a quick spin hold up have you checked out our website The drivershub.com is live now with a new segment called TDH Classifieds where you can list your exotic performance or even project car and target the right audience even if you are in the market to buy yourself a nice car of your dreams something like this a first of its kind Skoda VRS 245 with an all wheel drive system or maybe something more subtle like this Punto Abarth with a stage 1 plus and a lot of goodies so head on forward to TDH Classifieds and get the car of your dreams So the intercooler has finally been fitted to the Abarth Punto and I'm going to be honest with you guys it's not something that you can really feel uh, when you're driving the car I mean it's something that goes on behind the scenes it's more of something that will keep the car healthy and make sure it's always its optimum running condition but overall this has been a really interesting build with the Abarth Punto because to be honest India is not really that uh familiar with tuning or modifying abarths but of course the abarth community is slowly slowly growing more and more enthusiasts are getting their hands on this thing and are modifying it and this 1.4 liter tj engine is a peach of an engine it sounds good has tons of power and a comparable build a comparable build would probably a lora 1.8 tsi so it's much cheaper to run than a lora 1.8 tsi and it's more fun to drive in the canyons because of the shorter wheelbase and because it weighs a lot lesser than the lora let's just do a quick pull for you guys because it sounds amazing Ooh, 
because she's a spicy girl. I mean, the talk steer that happens when you actually put your foot down onto the floor is insane. I mean, it definitely needs a tire upgrade, this car. But, I mean, that just adds... Nikle ga kya? Just. Ah, nikle ga, nikle ga. Just nikle ga. That just adds to the fun factor of this car. It's a really fun car to thrash around. I have a few niggles with this car. Mainly it's with the shifter. It's not the most intuitive shifter, I would say. It's a little bit dead. You can't really understand where's third, where's fourth or where's fifth. And the pedal, I would like a floor mounted pedal because I've gotten used to the Laura. So heel and towing in, in this uh, heel and towing in, in this car, it's a little bit difficult, but I mean I can't complain. This it's definitely more fun to drive harder because it's more compact in these smaller streets of India so you can really thrash it around here and there and I'm going to tell you something really interesting because this might be kind of the last video of Project Abarth so let's head back to the workshop so I can tell you guys what's really going on so this has been kind of the end of the Abarth project series I mean we might be pulling out two more episodes after this for something interesting not really about building this car or any sort of modifications but you'll see what I'm talking about and like I said in the start of this video this thing is for sale on TDH classifieds now the thing that we've replaced this car with somehow fits into this series as well so that car will also be revealed in the next video so watch out for that video but if you're interested in buying this car please head down to head down to TDH classifieds where you can look at all of the specs it has all of its history and everything like that um, if you're interested in buying the car you can text us on whatsapp we have our whatsapp business number or you can send us a message on tdh classifieds and you can give us your offer the car is in amazing shape it recently had a polish done it's uh, maintained here over at the mechanics automotive so you know that the work that has been done on the car has been absolutely amazing so nothing to worry about it's just a car that you have to buy crank the key and just go and have fun with so check it out on tdh classifieds till then i'll see you in the next one thank you